Nine. Oh, Father. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows if you've been sleeping. He knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness' sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. I am so busy now, Jeanette, that I do not know whether I will be able to bring you all the toys you want for Christmas. And so I am giving you a gift to make sure you can get all the toys you want for Christmas. I know you have been a very good girl all year. Love, Santa. Love, Santa. What the heck does that mean, Mom? Dad? We suspect your biological father sent this letter to you. What is this hundred-dollar bill? What the heck does this Santa thing mean? I mean, I. Am I really Catholic? You were born Catholic, but your mother obviously wanted you raised in a Jewish family. So I've been living a lie. You have not been living a lie. I looked at both my parents. How dare they keep this letter from me? This is my life, not theirs. So, when did you get this letter? We got it a few years ago, Jeanette, and we thought we would give it to you when you were ready. Ready? Who can be ready for this? The next day after this whole mind trip, I'm dozing off in Economics 101, and my professor, Dr. Kanegeiser, starts talking about where money comes from. By looking in the circle of a $1 bill, you can tell what city and state that bill came from on any bill just by looking in the circle on the left-hand side. New York. It's from New York. He's here in New York, New York City. I just know it. Anne, Anne, over here, over here. I have to tell you something. So I skipped class to be with Anne, Anne Deller. She was adopted too. She found her real father in Puerto Rico, so maybe she can help me find mine. Anne, I think I know where my father is. Your real father? Yes, my real father. See, I got this $100 bill from the agency, Jewish Child Care. They told my parents my father sent it. It's brand new. Look at it. You can tell it's from New York right here. New York. He's here in New York. I just know it. I told Anne the whole story, and she believed me, too that I was right. He must be from New York. So we went to the New York Public Library to look into the birth books. Anne said my name would be listed because I was born at Bellevue Hospital in New York City. And I was listed as Jeanette Cox. Not Jeanette Kapitowski, not Jeanette Farrow, but Jeanette Cox. My real name listed alongside my father's first name, Arthur, and my mother's maiden name, Barbosa, just like Barbara had told me. In that one moment, I was convinced. I was never so sure in my entire life. I found my father. Now nothing could hold me back, nothing. Alan, Alfred, Arthur, 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 shoot! There were four Arthur Coxes listed in the phone book. Calm down, Jeanette. What we should do is look in a 1971 phone book and see which Arthur Cox was there when you were born. Yes, that's perfect. Can I help you two young ladies? Yes, um, I need a 1971 phone book for New York City, please. Well, for 1971... You'll have to fill out this card and go over to the microfilm section and wait on line right over there. I look over to where the line is. It's like ten blocks long. So I said, 
Listen, lady. I'm in the middle of a catharsis here. I need that microfilm now. I've waited far too long for this. I don't have time to fill out your silly cards, and I don't have time to wait on your roller coaster lines. So I advise you to go over there and get it for me, or else this might turn into something ugly. Yes, it ended up being the longest half hour of my life. But we finally got our hands on that film. And we got a match. Same address, same name, same phone number. Anne, this is where I lived for the first one and a half years of my life. I couldn't believe it. Here I was on a Saturday afternoon on 45th Street in Madison, and my real father is on East 10th Street, 35 blocks away, 10 minutes away, okay? And Anne's telling me to calm down. Jeanette, give me the phone. Let me call. I'll tell him I'm from Jewish Child Care and that I just need to verify some information. Remember, I've done this before. Fine. Hello, may I please speak with uh, Mr. Arthur Cox? Yes, is this Arth Arthur? I'm speaking to... Great, uh, yes, Mr. Cox. Uh, my, my name is... Anne Rabinowitz. Anne Rabinowitz from Jewish Child Care. And I would like to verify some information in order to to close your file with us here. Okay, now, in 1971, you gave up two children for adoption, correct? One named Jeanette and one named Patrick. Okay, are you currently living at 322 East 10th Street? Great, well, okay. Uh, yes, that, that's all the information we need to verify. We're just updating our files. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Cox. I heard my father's voice. I heard my voice. Do you know what that feels like? My dad was practically right next to me, and I heard his voice. We took a cab to East 10th Street, and when we got there, I was dying to go to the front door. Anne said, no! Yes, I want to. No, you can't. You don't have the right. But the right you do have is to write him a letter. Fine. I'll write him. And I did. I wrote him twice. I waited three months and two days with no answer. I knew what I had to do. Hello? Yes, hello? Is Arthur Cox there, please? Hi, um, my name is Jeanette, um, Jeanette Kopitowski, and I'm calling because I sent you two letters, and I wanted to know if you got them. Well, I sent them to 322 East 10th Street. What? What? California? He lives in California now? In college? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that your name is Arthur Cox, too, and you moved into his apartment with the same name, and you kept the same number? What do you mean he doesn't live here anymore? Well, he was here a few months ago. I mean, I'm really confused. I don't think you're really telling me the truth. He hung up on me. That no good, lousy jerk hung up on me. And he lied to me. How could he? How could he? Why? Why? What did I ever do to him? What? S somebody tell me. What did I ever do to him? Want to see him, talk to him, greet him in a park, sit on the same bench together, eat a New York hot dog together for crying out loud? That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
That's it. I'm never going to call him again. My father. <laughs>